Mexico was the land of natives such as the Aztecas and Mayas, but through their conquest, the Spanish have yet to leave the country. Even after the revolution and independence of Mexico, the vast influence the Spanish had on the country's language, religion, and culture can be demonstrated by comparing the old and new traditions within Mexico. Mexico was recorded to be first discovered and conquered mainly by Hernán Cortés in 1519. He was a general in Spain and captain of the group that invaded Mexico. Spanish was the language Cortés and his men spoke, but before Spanish became the language of Mexico, the natives spoke Mayan and Nahuatl. Among the native maidens that were awarded to Hernán Cortés, however, was the clever Malintzin, who was promptly baptized with a Spanish name, Marina, and appointed the task of intervening with any further contact with indigenous people. She translated Nahuatl to Mayan for Aguilar, one of Cortés's soldiers, who then put her words into Spanish. Doña Marina soon earned her place as Cortés's most intimate advisor by first mastering Spanish and then becoming his mistress. Eventually, she bore him a son, Martín, the first mixed-blood Mexican, or mestizo, for having aided the Spanish Today, she is widely considered a traitor to her own people. She was better known as La Malinche, which gave rise to a modern-day term, Malinchista, used in reference to a Mexican who takes fancy to anything of foreign origin. Ravaged by diseases introduced by the Spaniards, deprived of fresh water and food supplies from the mainland, the Aztecs withstood an 80-day siege, surrendering August 13, 1521. Only after their captured leader grasped a dagger in Cortés's belt and pleaded, I have done all that I could to defend my people. Do with me now what you will. Fueled by victory, the conquistadores laid the Aztec Empire to waste, erasing the remnants of the culture as best as they could, scorching Tenochtitlan by fire, leveling its majestic temples. The rubble would make up the foundations of a new world, the support of a brand new people. And after the Mexican Revolution and independence from Spain, the new people have been divided into three different Mexican races. The Creoles, who are better known as Croyos in Spanish, are Mexican-born Spaniards, like my mom. The Mexicas, who are descendants of the Aztecs or Mayas, with only a very small part of Spanish blood, like my dad. Finally, the Mestizos half Spanish, half Aztec blood, like me and my sister. Mexico is now divided into northern, central, and southern states. My family is from Tamaulipas, a northern state. We own land there, and a house, and they're all in Matamoros. My dad's ranch is where I was raised, but my family's connection to politics, along with the rising crime related to the carteles, has forced us to move to the United States and begin our lives once again, like many other families that we know. And although Mexico has gone through changes over the centuries after 1519, the biggest change has been the acceptance nationally of the diverse range of Mexicans. We all share the pride of the revolution against Spain, even if the revolution was never completely won, as demonstrated by the Spanish language and culture of the beautiful land that I call home. Viva Mexico! Viva! Viva Mexico!